you there my name is professor harshavardhan gongde from snd college of engineering and research center yavla nashik i am a professor in mechanical engineering department from snd college i taught the subject artificial intelligence and machine learning for third year students and my college in come to the sri savitri bai phule pune university for third year mechanical now the unit one is introduction to ai ml that is artificial intelligence and machine learning from this slide one onwards the ai means artificial intelligence and ml means machine learning this abbreviation i'm going to use from onwards <coughs> now come to the course objective the acquaint with fundamentals of artificial intelligence and machine learning will be the course objective of this subject and the outcome of this subject is the demonstrate fundamental of artificial intelligence and machine learning that is the actual with the help of the applications or with the help of the suitable examples we will to understand the outcome of this subject now my while the key points of this in this subject is the history of ai comparison ai with data science need of ai in mechanical engineering introduction to machine learning and the basic reasoning problem solving knowledge representation planning learning participation motion manipulation that is approach to ai cyber netics and brain simulation symbolic and sub symbolic statistical there is the various kind of approaches we are going to learn and to the upcoming slides now coming back to the next slides where the ai use as you can see this is the big ai chip is introduced in fingertips of that human being and other sub branches are connected as you can see in the pictures the computers mobiles towers panels factories roads aircraft buildings money home everything is connected to artificial intelligence so as from this picture it indicate the full scenario of the artificial intelligence in our day to day lives this all application is used in day to day life so you can understand the how much this subject is important in our day to day life so coming to the next slide why to study artificial intelligence this is a very general question the people may ask but before going to that these two words first of all we will understand artificial and intelligence this is the basic two words so what is artificial artificial object materials or processes do not occur naturally and created by human beings often using science and technology so this is called artificial and uh, intelligence artis- artificial made by human work art not by nature not natural made in limitation for as sub- substitute for something natural or simulated so unnatural is in in affected way or pretended way so this is basic artificial and intelligent artificial having the separate kind of pro forma that will be explained up to the upcoming slides now coming to the next slide to the ability to learn understand or deal with the new or trying situations or reasons that means without reasons we cannot do the things and for that we require the logic the logic will drive the motion to get the results okay itna aasa ekdam aasan sa hai without logic we can apun kuch nahi karte to parne ke liye bhi ek reason chahiye rehta hai wohi reason hai the ability to apply knowledge to manipulate one's environment or to think abstractly as a measured by objective criteria such as test so intelligent have to have to perform a test and whether it if it is fail in test that we have to again go for the test unless and until we get the optimum results the mental activeness sheer wideness the act of understanding comprehension the ability to perform computer functions so this is deal with the artificial and the intelligence with intelligence <coughs> so why to study artificial intelligence we come to that we call ourselves homo sapiens means the wise because our intelligence 
so important to us as the history we keep learning and learning all things all the genetic development occurs so we understand the things we distinguish the things we describe the things our normal intelligence come into this picture the field of artificial in- intelligence or ai goes further still it aim- at a times not just to understand but also build the intelligent entities ai is the one of the newest field in science and engineering work started in earning soon world war 2 and the name itself was a coined in 1956 in in history we can have the some foot marks regarding the ai but due to that uh, lack of resources that field is not developed but nowadays the science and the technology having lot of booms so we can see that to process the big amount of data there is a process of artificial intelligence to extract the result from the particular big data the ai is very useful so that's why the artificial intelligence come to the picture now coming back to the next slides the ai currently encompasses a huge variety of sub fields ranging from the general learning and perception to the specific such as playing chess providing mathematical theorem writing poetry driving a car on a crowded street and diagnosing disease and so on so ai is relevant to any intellectual task to truly universal field <coughs> so ma- mapping of artificial coming to to this slides the mapping of artificial is nothing but artificial intelligence is a quite big umbrella term that covers all methods algorithms and system that exhibits some sort of intelligent behavior one can mimic intelligence with coding and the system a set of historic rules expressing some knowledge so it does not necessarily need to be through any kind of learning but the knowledge can be built into the program however learning as well as one of the area of artificial intelligence so mapping of artificial intelligence is nothing but to map with help of the existing resources so we can extract the result from the particulars or wide uh, data sets now how human capabilities map to artificial intelligence one of the great way to explain sub areas of artificial intelligence is through human sense and capabilities humans have set of sense and capability that makes them behave intelligently next point the artificial intelligence is trying to mimic this and therefore each human sense or capability there would be a field of artificial intelligence that would try to find the best way to mimic that capability as shown in below figure there is a computer vision field of ai would mimic seeing sound processing hearing natural language processing will mimic language understanding and so on on human capabilities of map for artificial intelligence it is nothing but we try to adopt our culture or our uh, what we call day to day life to fit into artificial intelligence into the next slide i will explain that to how do we do with it generally when we wake up now so we generally check the mobiles for that in our mobile as you can see there is a new f- news flashing at 8 am why it is 8 am only because our mobile phone use ai algorithm such a way that it knows that when it is 8 am the person wants to see the news of yesterday's day yesterday's whatever uh, incident happen so this is the ai which play with day to day life okay now coming to the next slide human capability maps of artificial intelligences as you can see the there is a one mechanical hand with touching with the uh, our human species hand with the help of the ai as you can see in the left side there is a robot is sitting on the right side the human being seated now what is the ai research fields and what is the human capability do so we will go with the first ai research field computer vision 
साउंड प्रोसेसिंग साउंड सिंथेसिस नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग रोबोटिक्स ऑटोमेटेड रीजनिंग मशीन लर्निंग ह्यूमन कैपेबिलिटी सींग हियरिंग टॉकिंग सिंगिंग अंडरस्टैंड लैंग्वेजेस मोमेंट रीजनिंग लर्निंग दिस इज ऑल एक्टिविटी ह्यूमन हैव दिस एक्टिविटी एंड एज यू कैन सी ह्यूमन कैपेबिलिटी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी कैन बी ट्रांसफर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द ए आई टू मशीन programs so that program is used to ai using python language or using other external languages we can produce a, such a kind of logics that will help in our day to day life so this is the the human capability mapped by artificial intelligence for example seeing generally human being can see with the help of the eye to everywhere but how the ai can see or how ai can predict the things there is one solution for that using the web camera and using the sensors we can see and sense the things and the, with the help of the mathematical calculation we can also calculate the distances velocity and other uh, what we call that speed related issues so we can calculate the things with accordings to our need so this is the how ai play the important role in day to day life for the human day to day life now the human cap the uh, machine learning would mimic how human learns and as we learn to understand languages to recognize object some of the machine learning concepts play a major role in the development and application to other area such as computer vision natural language processing reasoning and so on this is how they help to us now come to the next slide what is the scope of the artificial intelligence now as you can see there is a one human uh, brain is over there or human skull is over there in which the chip is mounted and he try to see throughout the straight things and there is a tree diagram with the help of that ai can be explained for the scope predictive the first thing is machine learning human can human learning can be divided into these categories that is the first one is the machine learning so machine learning have the another two sub trees that is the deep learning and the, the predictive analytics so this will come as the we progress our syllabus the second which is the language processing that is nlp the language processing again have the classification translation data extraction now the third one is the speech speech to text or text to speech means both we can do i am talking with you and the machine is talking with me that is a vice versa so expert system that is a coding based planning and optimization that is again coding based to process the operation cycles now the vision the vision can be divided into machine vision and the image recognitions image recognitions means that is a digital x ray of our chest can be used by ai to analyze whether the human person that human person having the covid infections or not so that can be predicted with the help of the ai and the machine vision with the help of the cameras that we can do and the last one is the robotics robotics that we know everywhere is robot nowadays so the what is the scope of artificial and as this is the this image is so self explanatory okay coming to the next slide what is artificial intelligence some have defined intelligence in terms of fidelity of human performance while other prefer as an abstract formal definition intelligence is called rationality loosely speaking doing the right thing so artificial intelligence it is nothing but uh, talent it have ability to sense the thing okay. not by the nat- natural way but having with the help of the programs so the subject uh, coming to the next point the subject matter itself have very some considered intelligence to be property of the internal thought process and reasoning while the other focus intelligent behavior as external characterizations so just this is nothing but the how we feel 
how we process our things with the help of the reasoning this is what their characteristic now thought thought and we heard there we can see there is a one table thought system that thinks like human system that thinks rational behavior seems that act like human system that act rational this is human and the rational the method is is used to necessary different way the the pursuit of human like intelligence must be in a part of empirical science related to psychological involving observation and hypothesis about actual human behavior and thought process a rational approach is one of the other hand involves combination of mathematics and engineering and connects to statistics control theory and economics so this is the how it works means human have this human can think and act like a human system can think rationally and act like a rational that what they want to tell you